see it. Let's talk about the start you've had this season and just the things that you really like about your team. Um, yeah, they, I, I, I think a lot of our sex success comes from our work ethic. Uh, from, from day one, the guys have worked extremely hard. They work hard in practice, they work hard in games, they worked hard in training camp. It seems like a real good group of guys that enjoys going out and working together. And with that, I think it's probably been the main reason why we've been successful. How about Forsberg's play? I mean, to come in and be a rookie the way he's played. Yeah, I mean, he, he's been impressive. It, you know, I think last year, I wasn't here, but last year was a good learning process for him and, and getting over into North America hockey. And, and, and trying to figure out the game, and now he comes back. He's stronger. He's a year older and a year wiser. Um, you know, I've seen him since development camp in the summer when I got hired, and he was the most impressive player on the ice. And in the rookie tournament, again, he was he was one of the top players on the ice. And then in our training camp, he, he did the same thing. His start to the year has been good. So, you know, we want to just stay with him and keep working with him. He's a young player, and uh, but so far he's been he's been very good for us. Do you think, given the start that this team has had, that opponents will be treating any differently or treating this team any differently with more effort, knowing the team's position and the standings? Uh, you know, I, I think that I, I think that every game you get into, I feel like a coach nowadays, maybe in every locker room, has given a speech that sounds something like this: "If you're not ready to work hard tonight, you'll end up not liking the results." It seems like every game is hard fought. Every game. Uh, if you're not contesting puck battles and getting in there and winning puck battles and, and working and skating, uh, usually you don't win the game. I would, I would think that that's a league-wide thing. Um, there are no easy nights. There really aren't. I know, it's, I know everybody always says that. It's probably been said for 100 years, but there really are no easy nights. If you, if you take an easy night, I'll guarantee you don't like the results. So um, we've got to work hard tonight. I think teams say that about us, and I know we're saying that about Carolina. Standings, I don't think matter sometimes. That they're a proud team. They want to get. They want to find themselves and, and get back into a playoff race. They're going to be ready to play. If we're not, you know, it'll be a tough trip home. How important is setting the tone against this team? It seems getting the first goal is huge in this league now. You know, it, it, I, I would agree. I mean, statistically, that that's a number. You know, we've we've identified that as something that's important. It it hasn't changed our. Yeah, it hasn't changed the way that we play the game, and if. We don't score it. We don't seem phased by it. Um, our guys have done a really good job of just focusing on the minutes and, and what we need to do on the ice, and that's regardless of if we're up or down a goal or, or what the situation is. And our guys have been pretty um, pretty good with committing to the to the game. So I'd, I'd like to get the first goal. Uh, but if we don't, I don't I don't think it'll change our group. So. Oldest guy on your team is a guy you know pretty well. Yeah, we had some fun with them the other day when um, we were watching the game and they put that stat up there on the board. And we were cutting clips for the next day and we made sure we cut that, that he's the longest tenured oldest player to ever wear a, not longest tenured, oldest player to ever wear a, most seasoned player to ever wear a predator. <laughs> we that way. And uh, we, had a, we had a quick chuckle with that. But uh, Matt's been great for us. Uh, you know, certainly haven't known him for so many years and what he's capable of. He's He's in a good spot right now with our team, and uh, you know he's a valuable guy. Do you have a set number of games that you want Pekka Rene to play this year? No. no <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I know he's fresh tonight. You know he's ready to go tonight. He had a day off, and uh, I don't feel like the work's been that taxing for him. So, you know, Pekka will play tonight. And we'll deal with the future when it comes. I mean, we've got a plan in place. I'm probably not going to put it in the newspaper, but. I don't think there's any set. There's no we want to plan X amount of games.